four countries in five days, all by public transport. A few years ago, my family were invited to a wedding in the south of Germany. We were very excited. We set off early in the morning and walked down the road to the train station. At the train station, we caught the DLR, Docklands Light Railway, to London City Airport. The children had never been on an aeroplane before. We flew from London City Airport to Zurich Airport in Switzerland. After we had landed and collected our luggage, we went to catch a train. We took the train from Zurich to a place called Romanshorn on the edge of Lake Constance. From Romanshorn we took a ferry across the lake to a small town called Friedrichshafen in Germany. From there we took another train to the town where we were staying, Lindau. Once we had arrived and dropped off our luggage we went to meet our friends beside the lake. The following day was the beautiful Laura and Georgia's wedding day. It was a beautiful and hot day. The wedding was amazing. The next day, we decided to take a train to Bregenz in Austria. In Bregenz, we went up a mountain in a cable car where there were beautiful views of the lake and the children had a lot of fun. We caught the train back to Lindau but stopped on the way to swim in the lake as the sun was setting. It was quite cold but beautifully clear. The following day, we took another train back to Friedrichshafen to get the ferry back to Switzerland. Once we were in Switzerland, we took two trains to a place called Lutisberg, where our host picked us up in his car to take us to a holiday home, up a hill, with no neighbours. It was very peaceful. The views were amazing. There was a small pool and a trampoline in the garden and some great places to walk nearby. We stayed there for three days. On the last day of the holiday, my son, Arthur, fell off the trampoline onto a rock and cut his knee open. So our host had to give a lift to me and Arthur to a hospital in St Gallen, whilst Paul, my husband, packed all the luggage and took the other three children to the airport in Zurich by train. Once Arthur's knee had been stitched up, he had partially ruptured his tendon. Arthur and I took a trolley bus to the train station and then got on the train to the airport in Zurich. We all got on the aeroplane together back to London City Airport where we caught the DLR back to Woolwich and then we got a taxi up the road home. We were all very, very tired. <laughs>